It's always a strange feeling going to bed in a tent in Africa. It's also just as strange being woken up to these. <laughs> but I do enjoy a very deep sleep at the very least. And by the time I have coffee in the morning, I always feel recharged. And that's just as well because I've been working just as hard here as I was in Asia last week. With or without the Egyptian geese. <laughs> Egyptian geese. It's kind of chilly now tonight. Well, it was warm today, but it's chilly now. Just looking out across the lake. In a couple of days, I want to go on a hike. So my plan is to hike up over the, one of the ridges here. I think it's the high one. Hike up over the ridge, camp in a forest, or if there's a campsite there, <laughs> and then walk to the next town. It's quite a distance. The people I've asked around here kind of say it. Not that it can't be done, but nobody does it. You know, they don't understand. Why would I want to hike from here to the next town? That just is ridiculous to them, which I understand too. But that's what I'm thinking of doing. There's also a volcano not too far. It's about 100 kilometers from here that I'd like to go and check out. And after that, I want to take one more hike before I have to get down to Tanzania. That's my general plan. Up until today, I've just been working like I was back in Asia. Uh, the nice thing about here is I just get to chill out in the grass beside my tent during the day for an hour or two and wait for the hippos to come up. I haven't seen them in the light yet, but they do come up. I hear them every night. Uh, last night they were here it's very unnerving so unnerving funnily enough just as I said it a baby hippo appeared out of the bush but the rest of them wait until it's dark before they come out And it's always a strange walk back to the tent. It's pitch dark and I know that 20 feet away, there's hippos. And I never get tired thinking about this, how crazy it is. That when I finish work every night, I have to walk home in the dark, while also keeping my eye out for the most dangerous animal in Africa. You might say it's a hard life, but Someone's got to. <laughs>